back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to be installing a universal horn kit and we're installing it on a Yamaha G9. We've got the horn, I've got the car, let's get installing. First thing I always like to do is open the package up to verify that I have all the parts that I need. I've got everything laid out here that's shipped in the kit. The only thing not included in this kit is bolts and nuts to hold the horn to the frame of the car. So I've had to make a little trip down to my local hardware store, grab me a couple of nuts, bolts, and lock washers. So I've got everything I need. Now let's get started mounting the button to the floorboard. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and drill the hole to mount the button. So what I'm going to do is use one of the large washers that came in the kit as a template. I want to put it up here just above the brake pedal to the left. Filling on the back side, make sure there's nothing there. Mark my hole. And with a 5 8 drill bit, let's drill the hole. Okay, we got the hole drilled all the way through. Now it's time to put the uh, push button through. I'm going to use one spacer on the back side. Push it through, use our nut here, and we'll tighten it down. Using a three quarter wrench, we just tighten it up. We just want to get it good and snug. Put our cap on. Now then, now let's go mount the horn. Underneath the front of the uh, Yamaha here, there's two pre-drilled holes already for this. We're using it here. Went to the hardware store, got my bolts. So I'm ready to mount it. Now on back, there are two uh, male connectors. Because of the location that it's in, I'm going to go ahead and connect the wires up. Now they're not marked positive or negative. That's because it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and hook them up crawl underneath here and get this mounted. Okay, right up above the bumper on the passenger side, there's two holes already. We'll just mount it straight to it. Okay, let's get it wired up. Okay, so far what I've done to run the negative circuit, I've actually mounted the negative side of the horn up to the frame where I mounted it to. That'll ground the horn to the frame. We can do this on gas cars, but not electric. Okay, now let's get our positive circuit ran over to our switch in the floorboard. Okay, I've got the positive lead here now. Coming from the switch, we got to go to the battery. So what I'm going to do is go back behind the mud flap, in between the frame, up the battery compartment, and hook it up. Okay, now it's time to hook this uh, cable up to our battery. We've got to put our fuse link in. Well, I hope today's episode was helpful for you. Installing a universal 12 volt horn <coughs> works fine. If there's any other parts you'd like to see us change out or upgrade, be sure to let us know down in the comments section. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and thanks once again for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.